who needs a hat? The head is shutting down. So if I say any <laughs> stupid things, I apologize. You well. Let me say Austria or Australia. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, next game coming up, Lorena. Let me put some energy in this yeah, uh, bubble around you. Uh, Wales from Australia talking about that against uh, Zurich. Zurich. What? So let's, if you be a dear and read the names of the Australian team and the Zurich team, let's go s look. There it is. This is the Australians. There you go. Um, the main Australian, the the Wales team. You mean, Lorena? You mean the Wales team? Yeah. So number seven, Kilpat Steve Kilpatrick. Number eight, uh, Klima and Truss. Number 13, Per Solipake. Uh, number 15, Nick Cumbis. Number 17, Really Court Bennett. Number 28, Sebastian Vasquez Giraldo. Number 22, Adam Inchley. Number 24, Oscar Garcia Gomez. Number 31, Gonzalo Serna Diaz. Number 33, Scott Phillip, number 15, Jason Hartill, number 55, Ben Maslin, number 69, Juan Camilo Colorado Hoyos, number 97, <laughs> Yannick Lenz, and number 99, Nicholas Truitt Smith. And which is the, I know I read it wrong. <laughs> Hoyos, it's, it sounds sweet, it's Hoyos. It's the age we don't speak in Spanish, it's, it's just sweet. Are you making fun it's of me? No, I'm laughing with you, not about you. Look, let's go with Lisa said you're making a little bit fun of me. No, never. She gave me the sign. Never. The sign. Today. She made the sign. The sign. There you have the ah, Zurich team, please. This I can go for. Uh, so uh, the team from Zurich is Marcel Fetter, Christian, uh, <laughs> number three, Marcel Fetter, number five, um, no, it was not about uh, this can you time. Can you stop laughing in my back? <laughs> Sorry, no, yeah. <laughs> <That's serious. laughs> number five, Continue. Christian Anna. Number seven, Matthias Dufour. Uh, number 10, Hannes Püschel. Number 13, Martin Wörnle. Number 18, Michael Müller. Number 24, Dominic Peter. Number 43, Xaveri Orozco. Number 54, uh, Walter Bill. Number 73, Daniel Jussen. Number 84, Frank Tretin. And number 88, Sebastian Häuser. And last but not least, also the VIPs of the game, the referees. We have the rec referee, uh, Raphael from Sweden. And then underwater, we are going to have Bob from Germany and Kai from Norway. All right, there's always uh, been uh, paying attention that they not don't put any referee from the same country that is playing. So I want to make sure that you know that. All right. Uh, and after this is Orcas Akaren. This is almost like a semi-final. Hmm? Well, it's it interesting be game. Quite a game. Yes. And uh, Wales. I know I've talked to uh, Gonzalo. They say they have. They will. They win this game against Zurich. They have th this is the third game. Remember they had the start early this morning against Akaren and they had lost uh, 6-0 and then they played later against Orgas and also lost 6-0 uh, and they are in the same group. Remember we have four groups of the men. Three of them have four teams and one has three teams and this uh, group has Akaren Orcas, Wales, and Zurich. A Karen from Norway, Orcas from Colombia, Wales from Australia, and Zurich from Switzerland. For the people that, you know, getting into the conversation, I uh, we found out from Binet that the games are going to be uh, upload uh, after the... Yes, um, Champions and Cup. And not, yeah, and not during these days. So watch the game live. I believe the stream allows you to look back one or two hours but then after that they, de they are deleted online yeah. but we uh, um, uh, we preserve them we uh, save them and we will uh, upload them we will upload them on YouTube okay wha what is the timing what time do we have I'm losing right now seven it's seven so in one minute at eight o'clock the game starts we have four more games we have Australia Switzerland then we have Colombia, Norway. I mean, Orcas against Akaren. Then we have Wien, 
uh, from Austria against Firenze from Italy, and then we have Bamber from Germany against uh, the Turkish team that I don't know the name. Yeah, the D Y S K. I know, but the long Denis. Yeah, Yil here we go. Larieska. Wow. I improved my Turkish for next. Uh, Lisa, are you sure you don't want to do the commentating for me? You're good with the names. All right. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So yes, I had uh, really some nice talks um, while watching the yep. game from uh, Riksu uh, out of the water. Here we go, game starts. And uh, Zurich against Wales, so Switzerland against um, Australia. And Wales is in blue and Zurich in white. And we're already at the Swiss basket. And uh, Wales is attacking, but tackled away. Looks like to the surface. Uh, we don't have a good camera here. The camera is out of uh, focus a little bit. Uh, again, if it uh, happens, if someone kicked against the camera. And an attack on the goalkeeper, on the height of the goalkeeper, tackled away. And uh, very well uh, resolved this attack. And here comes the other attack from the close side into the basket. And there's one player lying on the line. It's already the first goal. It's 1-0 after uh, less than a minute. Wow. 1-0 um, for Wales. Good job. I mean, really, I, I thought that they could be strong, uh, but Zurich is also quite a uh, um, experienced team. They have been participated in also in the Champions Cup several times. So that's, that's a good... Uh, Good start for Wales. Yep. And here comes Zurich uh, in attack, uh, number 43. Uh, that uh, should be uh, 43. Zurich is uh, Xaveri. And uh, well, he lost the ball, and we're already on the on the Swiss basket. And. Uh, is a Wales player lying on the basket? Yeah, yep. Wales player, Australian player is lying on the Swiss basket. Call from the referees, looks like. We don't see it that way. Ah, it's a free throw against Wales. Yeah. Let's see. Um, it's so amazing to take pictures inside the pool area, the Lorena. It's, it's really? amazing. All this movement, magic? all these different. Yeah, it's, it's magic. It's not the light we had in uh, Oberhausen with the World Championship for Tuners, but uh, it's still magic. And again, uh, Wales um, in ball control going for the Swiss basket. And uh, they go in really fast. Defense is already uh, gone. And uh Where's the ball? I lost it. Where is it? Ah, they're just behind the referee. Right, okay. So uh, Wales is in position. And... Uh the Zurichia is defending, but where it's coming on from the close side is fighting against the defender, and we still have one of the attackers of Switzerland trying to recover the ball, pulling the player from Wales away. But Wales, it looks as still in possession of the ball. They're coming farther. We have one of the attackers behind the defender, one on the open side. But ah, the, the ball, ball dropped lost. down. Yeah. And uh, Switzerland is in ball possession, and they try to break through, but um, they right now they're lacking the the player is uh, being ready to receive the ball and it's just one player now here comes uh, three here come three swiss players down at the bottom and now they are through now they have a chance to break into the half of wales and start their attack on the australian basket they're in the corner now on the heavy attack from the four checkers of wales and they try to push it's called from the referee uh, grip to the throat Holding the throat three and it's a throw free throw against, against Wales. Wales. So one zero and the Swiss guy stole the basket. Trying to steal the basket. Against, yeah, but yeah, that was a little bit pushy from the goalkeeper of yes. Wales and the referee didn't do anything. It was yeah, pushing it without balls. And another call it. and uh, another pushing and another free throw against Wales. So free throw, we saw many free throws in this uh, Champions Cup in these uh, 23 games we already watched, but uh, not many people, uh, not many teams are able to um, 
to to put the free throw into action into use no, for them. No, not really. But I would like to say good night to everyone in Singapore. I mean, they're going to sleep because it's like past uh, two o'clock. Good night, and Singapore. Uh, you thank have for watching and yeah. following up. And you have two amazing teams here, and they're doing a really good job. Uh, uh, just uh, being uh, the the representatives of Singapore, really great to have them. We had them yesterday in the Underwater Rugby Academy. Great people, and uh, you're lucky to have them as a team. And here is another attack from Wales, and very nicely prevented. That was almost inside the basket, but the the s uh, Swiss could goalkeeper could we went see in between. Who has scored the goal from Wales? No, I couldn't see. No, uh, I can't. Uh, and they are telling us that they start ten years ago with the rugby in Australia and. Um, Jackie IS thinks that it's about nine teams. So they are I mean counter-attacking and they are now on the basket of Wales and we have the Swiss guys trying to start an attack. It's not been very successful to that. Well they are very uh, successfully tackled away but uh, the Swiss guys now it looks like they are uh, upping up their energy and they they fight really in aggressive good style I mean in a, in a good rugby style very very intense uh, for checking now from the Swiss and uh, the, the, the they s they try to attack but the 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 Wales team is very fast and uh, very up to it to keep everything at bay the Swiss have to throw at them and we're back in the Swiss half and the Wales player are inching forward under heavy attack by the Swiss and now the Swiss uh, conquered the ball but again they are defending and they are in their own uh, half and there is no station they can play to. Now they can go forward. Very nice but already a tackled in the first second they received the ball outside their own uh, defense perimeter. They are under heavy attack from the Wales for checkers. Here we go, Wales is again in the corner of the Swiss basket and now one Wales player is alone behind the goalkeeper. That's a good chance on the open side of the basket, oh, yes. Goal. Very well done, the, uh, the Wales player scored even though he was under attack from a uh, um, from, uh, Swiss defender. All right, um, let's see, 2-0 for Wales. And uh, Switzerland needs to uh, yeah, speed up a little bit. And <laughs> we have some girl from the Victoria Sea Dragons there uh, helping the guys from Wales. All right, uh, let's see where I am. I think it this was me. Okay, yeah. Uh, let's see. Um Movie with weird camera angles staring the judge in red. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh well. Let's see. Uh, we have Wales attacking back, but uh, Swiss uh, could recover the ball and is trying to leave. However, the four taking from the Australian team is really good. The basket of the Swiss is empty. They're fighting in the surface for the ball. And now we have one attacker against the goal is on top and behind his head or her head i believe probably was what one of the have the woman i believe and goal for wales three zero and no apparently they're all uh, male yeah sometimes it's difficult with these t-shirts you don't know All right, Switzerland, come on guys. One minute, 40 seconds, and three zero for Australia, and free throw for Switzerland. And let's see if they can take advantage. I'm very much surprised sometimes for um, the inef uh, inefficiency that some teams uh, have into using free throws, but not really uh, getting an advantage out of it. That's the idea. A free throw is an advantage for the team that was fouled and a lot of them don't exactly, they, you know, you need to train. All of these tactical things, you need to train. Otherwise, I have seen teams lost, I mean, uh, the, the ball and got a counter-attack goal for uh, after a free throw in their favor. Anyway, uh, now we have the Swiss guys on the close corner trying to start uh, an attack, but uh, uh, Australian team is very good in keeping the far away. We have one Swiss trying to come onto the open side 
waiting for the ball and um, now we have the Australian the counter attack is almost two of them they this they have to look in front yet and see his uh, teammate and now the counter attack was completely stopped and they have to regroup and see and now coming from above passing down and now the Swiss guy got in between recover the ball is trying to start a counter attack try to pass the ball but the Australian guy intercepted and now uh, the Australian are in counter attack could call four Swiss guys stop him that's you know very good reaction and uh, let's see I mean Australia still in possession passing and now it's against one against two and the attacker what happened oh uh, first half is over and 3-0 for Wales. Sorry to leave you alone, Lorena. I had, uh, 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 was talking uh, to Antje Franke <laughs> from uh, head of uh, competitive sports in the German Federation uh, VDST and uh, she just visited us. She's quite busy these days. She also was in Oberhausen and uh, she just checked uh, in. It's very funny. I did. Uh, she's a fin swimmer and I did her first underwater rugby game with her uh, she came to our club and she wanted to know what Run the Water Rugby was all about, so she did the first game with me. It was very nice. Nice experience. Yeah, she's nice a uh, swimmer, right? Yes, she's a fin swimmer. So, Lorraine, how do you feel? Dead. Dead. <laughs> dead. <laughs> I'm dead inside. <laughs> oh, God. I mean, it's uh, it's great to well be here, but it's just a little bit tired. I mean, with Oberhausen and the Academy... We overdid it a little bit. <laughs> well, um, tomorrow we have uh, another team coming in. We have uh, Jörg Elzer helping us out. Uh, we will have uh, the two um, guys from uh, Austria doing some uh, commentating. And uh, hopefully, uh, Dafrael Tien will show up again too. Uh, <laughs> he disappeared somehow. Um, you too. <laughs> but yeah, he disappeared well more. <laughs> true, but I came back. I'm back. Guess who's back. It's but okay. we only have uh, three games ahead of us. Uh, this is the. Yep. The fourth, which is seeing, and then it's one half mile to go. Three series, yeah, exactly. One, I mean, 10, 15 minutes. Then we have Orca Zakaren. I mean, so far, we let's see. So far, we have 219 viewers. Let's see how much it's going to be uh, Orcas uh, against um, Akaren. We, that's going we to realized be that too in uh, Oberhausen when uh, the Colombians were playing. Uh, <laughs> the, 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 the whole chat and uh, the numbers of the visitors were just crazy and they, they really like into it watching their team and they had all the reason for it because the Colombians uh, in uh, Oberhausen played a, a great uh, underwater rugby but it was like we had a thousand viewers um, in, the final. In, the, in the final and this is what we got to top here at the Champions Cup so we need to top that exactly so yes. everyone at home tune Stay tuned, talk to us on the chat, and uh, yeah, participate. Yeah, it's all about sharing and caring. So uh, 11 seconds uh, left um, before the second half uh, of the game, Switzerland against, uh, from, uh, yeah, Switzerland, Zurich from Switzerland against Wales from Australia, and uh, Wales is leading 3-0. Here we go into the game. Switzerland first on uh, uh, the ball. Some of them are fin swimmers, quite fast uh, swimmers. Uh, Frank Tretin, I know, he's a fast swimmer. And um, For the Swiss team. Yeah, for the Swiss team, for, for the white Swiss, Swiss team. Uh, and uh, here, same uh, as we saw, same, same, but different as we saw in the first half. Uh, Wales already on the attack on the basket of the Swiss basket. But uh, here the the ball was uh, stolen away from them and intercepted very well played nice counter attack from uh, uh, this guy i think is ksi and he did a quite a good job just punching through the uh, for checking defense of uh, the wales team of the australian team but here they are stopped and the ball is on the close side still in swift possession quite good but it's uh, one single player second player coming in uh, diving up in the corner they really have a plan, the Swiss. Uh, they want at least score once. It looks like they are putting a lot of energy in the water here in the far five first seconds of the second half. And here comes Wales again. Very fast attack on the corner. Two players wow. and there's one from the close side pushing, uh, trying to push the goalkeeper up. He didn't succeed, although he had a quite uh, perfect conditions. 
And um, then came uh, the defenders, and now we have a cluster on the surface. In the basket. But I mean, the ball was not in close proximity. Nevertheless, you know, you shouldn't get used to do this kind of thing. So otherwise, then you repeat them uh, when it's a situation that could be called for a penalty. All right, Wales is trying to recover the ball while Switzerland is trying to defend and keep them away. And they're just behind the referee. Wales is diving up and wants to pass. And now we have two guys, three guys coming diving in, trying to get closer to the defenders, but uh, one of the uh, four checkers of Switzerland um, complete completely disrupted the attack. But the next attack is already happening. They attack from above, pass down in the close corner, and uh, one of the Swiss guys got in between the next Wales guy mm. had it, and the goalkeeper couldn't cope with it, and that was goal for Wales and the Swiss don't look happy. No, but they do a good game. They fight hard, but uh, I think... Uh, yeah, but it's hard to, to lose against newcomers. You know, they have been coming for years, and then suddenly they're playing uh, against teams that have been coming. Wales, you said this is the second time they're here, right? Wales? Yeah. Yes, this is the second two years ago. Uh, last year, that he has been the, the Perth Riders. And uh, this is, uh, they have been with Ricardo the last uh, year, the two years ago, you remember? Mm -hmm. uh, call from the referee, we don't see him, the Swiss guys are standing in our way. So zero free throw, guess, Wales. free throw against uh, Wales. Oh, they have a two, they have, do they have a two minute penalty? It looks like, because there no, was, ju it was just a... No, it's a free throw. Yeah, free throw against Kay. Wales. The Swiss guys still have a lot of fight in them. They're coming from the close side, uh, but on a heavy attack, the, the attack of the Swiss is on a heavy attack by Wales and didn't succeed, although it was uh, well thought out, but didn't make it. And we have another call from the referee. What happened? What is happening? Call from the referee in the water. Two minutes. Again. I, I think he's, sh he's showing two minutes, isn't it? But I think he has already, I mean, they have already a, ah, a two minutes. That's, that's what we saw. We really need. Uh, so, um, Wales has only. Uh, Four players? Could it be they have two, but two minutes? Uh, yeah, but we don't have time penalty. They have. Wales, wow, this could be the moment for Switzerland. Well, Wales two have people out. Two people out, probably Wechselfeller. Probably could be an exchange uh, mistake. So uh, we have four players from uh, Australia in the water and six from Switzerland for two minutes. So that's a good chance for Switzerland um, to score now. <coughs> Interesting development. I didn't see what happened. Um, Maybe it was a, a rough playing or a, a no. I, th I believe and the, na and the the first one and the second one an exchange yeah, mistake. I don't know. Neither did I. Do I? It would, uh, would, it would, be, it would be good to have um, a connection to the referees. Yes, that would be nice. Okay, four against six. Let's see, see if uh, can Switzerland uh, is can coming, it. going to come up with everything they have. We haven't also nichts of Deutsch gesprochen. That is ah. unfair. Zurich is from the Deutsch speaking. Kurze miteinander uh, in genau. uh, Switzerland. Um. Um, die Schweizer Mannschaft uh, bringt hier wirklich ziemlich viel Energie ins Wasser. Sie liegen zwar 4-0 hinten, aber trotzdem machen sie ein ziemlich gutes Spiel. Jetzt wird es interessant. Uh, Wales, um, die Australier sind uh, mit vier Leuten im Wasser. Und die Schweiz äh, hat sechs Leute. Sie haben zwei Minuten, die Schweiz hat zwei Minuten Zeit, jetzt wirklich Druck zu machen, weil an einem gewissen Punkt kann man mit vier Leuten einfach nicht mehr so richtig gegenhalten. Äh, natürlich versuchen die Australier jetzt den Ball so gut wie möglich unter Kontrolle zu bringen, vielleicht sogar an der Oberfläche zu halten, um die vier Minuten runter tickern zu lassen, äh, bevor die Schweizer hier irgendwie noch mehr Druck machen können. Das wäre eine Chance jetzt, aber äh, Australien ist wirklich gut drin, mit den vier Leuten hier ein ziemliches Bollwerk in Verteidigung aufzubauen. Hier kommt der Angriff von der geschlossenen Seite. Das ist eine 1 und 1 
Rupfsituation, nicht nur das immer Rupfsituation, wenn der Ball einfach so festhängt und die Leute einfach dran ziehen. Es fällt den Schweizern hier super schwer ranzukommen, weil die äh, Australier das einfach wegtackeln, die einfach äh, wegklammern nach oben. Ich finde es krass, dass äh, Säckingen 4 doch nicht schaffen. Also das ist wirklich ähm, beeindruckend. I'm surprised that uh, Wales is with four. Penalty! Penalty! Wow, this, this is really a, a punishment for, for, the, for Wales. And I don't say punishment in the case of... Uh, uh, it, uh, the, the referees do a good job, but it's a super hard for a team if they have two, penalt uh, two penalty times. And they get a penalty throw. Well, but let's, I mean, let's face it. When you are with four people in the water you and you have you such a massive it. attack, of course. Yes. I mean, you put the shoulder and hope Let's see who's uh, throwing the penalty for the, for Zurich. Probably number 43, KSA. Who is KSA? Well, I cannot really easily speak his name. Uh, Xaveri is his... Uh, Oroxko. Lorena, you're so good with names. I am. But you, one time you didn't remember mine. Remember? No. Yes. Okay. <laughs> ah, it was a timeout <laughs> white. Then probably they uh, decide who was going to do the perform. We still have the way, guys. Two sitting outside. So let's see what... Um, the Australians have to offer. I even would say that probably they will. Here we go. Uh, <laughs> penalty starts, and the Swiss attacker. Yes, it's Vasseri uh, coming from. Uh, no, it's number this seven. This is kicking. This uh, is kicking. Matthias I mean Dufour. I know that in Colombia they do something. The that yeah, he was kicking. I mean, he's uh, in <coughs> Colombia. You do that, and I think they call it aleti, uh, adar aleta. But here, that's kicking. They kick. I mean, in Colombia, kicking is going with the. Yeah, with the he's I think he's out. I think this is another two minutes. Three they have yeah. Probably <laughs> have now. Uh, three people out. Three people on yeah. the penalty bench. Yep. Oh yeah, kicking. They just showed. So uh, the repeat I mean the Colombian time. We have because we have a lot of Colombians in Australia team because there's Colombians that emigrate. So there's going to be repeated. Surely the one, the the the, the goalkeeper is going to the penalty. So Australia has three guys out. I thank God they have done four goals before, but they still have how and much left? And another penalty. Yeah, well, there's a repeat of the, p of the penalty. Yes, repeat of the penalty. Yeah, but another one. Again, the number seven, Matthias Dufour. And uh, he's also swimming against the feet. Now he's under the basket, but uh, the uh, defender tries to tackle him away. Uh, the Swiss player, the attacker, goes up to the surface. Uh, the Australian goalie stays down. Again, uh, he tries to get over the feet. Uh, into the basket and he scores Escort. through and you could see the goalkeeper was already at the limit um, he really was uh, on his limit and couldn't do anything and it, it looks like he yes yeah he's fine goalkeeper yeah. is fine it was just the second normally the referees always check on them because you yeah. know it's a very it's maximal effort yes and these 44 45 seconds it's if you sit still it's uh, almost it's uh, luckily it's easily doable for uh, everyone but if you're under hard pressure underwater with the psychological stress it can be uh, really it can be really uh, difficult to keep these uh, 45 seconds without any um well, uh, uh, overload for your emotions and everything uh, up. So, um, yeah, it's not easy, 45 seconds uh, penalty. So, uh, <laughs> it's a 1 0. Well, he was saying the Aussies really want to get their money's worth from this trip playing with only four. <laughs> <laughs> but probably now they have one in because uh, even if there was a penalty, it was a score. So, show, I mean, maybe they have just two outside. Let's see, 4-1 for Wales, nevertheless, um, one and a half minutes left on the second game, uh, second half of this game. So Wales was never really in a big danger, actually. No, not but still, yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah. things can change around very suddenly. 
and uh, it's it's always different if you if you uh, s uh, uh, end the game uh, with a number zero or if you uh, uh, at least score two one or two times even if you lose the game it feels different yeah it does so uh, again Switzerland is attacking and it's free throw against Switzerland pushing without ball and uh, I think they are still uh, more Swiss players in water, probably five against six right now. Difficult a bit with these three uh, time penalties, and I didn't check the time. What do you mean you didn't check the time? Well, the timing for uh, how long yeah, these players have been out. 30 seconds uh, in the yeah, yeah, this yeah, game absolutely. is over. Yeah. And after this, Orcas coming up against Akaren. That's this going to be an interesting match. game. For a big audience. A ver, Colombia. And the last attack of Wales, 16, 15 seconds left. And yeah, nothing big gonna happen. S the Swiss are defending heavily. And uh, the Australians are attacking heavily, but it's time is counting on. 2 1 0. Game over. It's a 4 to 1 Wales against uh, Zurich. So uh, Australia against Switzerland. All right. So let's see. We are now uh, going to have Orcas versus Arcaren. Orcas, Colombia. ¿Qué está haciendo Colombia? ¿Están ahí? Arcaren, where is Norway? Everyone watching, all the family, grandmothers, mothers, parents, cousins, sisters, brothers, friends. Dogs, mirando, dogs, dogs, cats, why not? goldfish. <laughs> say, say the whole list, Lorena. <laughs> you're so funny. Uh, have, yeah. I told you, have I told you before you're a funny girl? And I mean it with a lot of love. Okay, so be a deer and let's go for the... <laughs> we are being given something. Mm, it's fish? Mm. Oh, Thank you. Nice, nice Thank you. The teams are taking so much work care, good care of us, feeding us, bringing us chocolate, and mm. Mm. this is something from Singapore. Mm. Okay, but coming back, let's go and find the rooster of mm -hmm. orcas. Okay, a ver, gente.